everybody, welcome back to another daily vlog. I feel like I've missed you all so much. It's currently Monday, we got back from our Haven holiday on Friday, so that should have been the last vlog that you saw. Someone else is coming to say hello. Oh, can you get in? Hello. Um, so, yeah, I've got Miss Rachel on. Let me just turn her down a bit so I can hear myself think. Right, she's on. We've gone back to being Miss Rachel, aren't we, Jessie? You're loving her at minute. Um, so yeah, that should have been the last vlog that you saw. Hope you all enjoyed. I think it'll be one big vlog, I've not even edited it yet. But I was planning on getting loads more footage, but we literally just had the best time that I kind of not forgot to get the camera out, but I was very much like in the moment. Well, I always am in the moment, but Bye. what are you doing? You're not going upstairs, are you? Anyway, I'll probably explain that in that vlog. Uh, I'm just straightening my hair currently. We can now climb over this, can't we? Not a ball! Oh, you want your ball? Oh, do you want me to get it, yeah? Here we go. There we go! Anyway, good morning from this absolutely gorgeous Monday, March morning. It is so beautiful outside. Whoa! And I'm just getting myself ready. You know, I'm putting an effort in this morning. I'm, I've, I've already washed my face, guys, and put moisturiser on. How good is that? And it's what, nine o'clock in the morning? <laughs> so we're off to a good start. I got up first thing this morning and put clothes on and not pajamas. And now I'm straightening my hair because I washed it last night. What are you doing? I'm in desperate need of my hair doing so bad. Um, but yeah, this morning, guys, I am going to the farm on my own. Well, I'm not going on my own, but it's very hot. Yeah, we've got to be very careful. It's like the first time I've been out with the boys that on my own that isn't soft play so that's the only place I've taken them um, on my own so we're going with Matilda but still I've not even done that like gone without gone with, gone out with both of them with someone else other than like my mum and stuff obviously will help me out but obviously Matilda's got her own child to look after so it's not like you know Matilda can run after Jesse if he runs off but we're going to Wentworth Farm and if you watched the vlog where we look, went guys oh well then what are you showing them what is it? Hockey look, puck. Do you want mommy to show because they can't see? Look, it's that, isn't it? It's a hockey puck, isn't it? This right. is. So, yeah, if you watched the vlog when I last, last went to Wentworth Farm, you'll know I said I think I'd be able to come here on my own with them both because it's, it's only small, you know, it can't really run off miles. It's like a little square. So I thought to myself last night, because as you know, I've said so many times now, I have found that now having two kids, I am much better off getting out of the house than staying in, which was the total opposite when I was on maternity hey, leave with what? Jessie. So I set thought last night, oh, I'll just go to soft play. And then I thought, do you know what? I, I need to just do it and go out somewhere what? else with them on my own, because it's not going to be as bad as I think, to be honest. Because, you know, Jessie was pretty much like really good all last week. He's kind of coming out of the stage of running off and coming back and you know he understands what I'm saying a bit more now we can communicate a bit better so I thought let's go to the farm plus it is absolutely gorgeous outside today like it looks beautiful and I'm in a jumper and I'm boiling in the house hello shall we show everyone your new house in a bit yeah, yeah? I'm, uh, I'm excited to get out to be honest so we're meeting up with Matilda and Heidi so it'll be really super lovely and yeah I thought I'd uh, obviously bring you all along I am a bit gutted that last week I didn't do uh, every day, but I did say when I started the March vlogs that, you know, there would be one week where I wouldn't be uploading for one day, but I was still a bit like, oh, do you know what, I, I did so well, because I uploaded like every day that I said I was gonna. And usually, do you know what, I'd just like not even bother, but I saw, I love her so much, she's amazing. She's called That's So Okay, I think I mentioned her before on my Instagram before and on here, but she is just, oh, if you need some any sort of motivation or anything, you just need to go and watch. In fact, just follow her on Instagram and watch her TikToks this, because, this yeah. Gym. gym? Yeah. No, I'm going to the gym tonight. Yeah, we're going to the farm, remember? I told you we were going to the farm to see the animals. Right. Yeah. It's just so motivational oh, and just oh, changes your perspective oh. on everything. And, yeah, so I'd seen something last night that she'd put on. Oh. Like, just get up, get ready and you'll feel better. And she's so right. So I've done this this morning and I do feel better. Usually I would just, like, not even bother to try and make myself look half decent. Obviously, I've not put any makeup on, but I can't be bothered to do that. And to be honest, trying to do my makeup when Jess is about and I've not got Jimmy at home to keep him out of the room 
and getting his hands in everything, it's just a bit difficult and I sometimes hate wearing makeup anyway. I wore it pretty much all every day last week. Anyway, go and follow her because she's amazing. Um, so we have got little Teddy down here who's been very quiet this morning and obviously you've seen Jessie. We had a pretty good night to be honest. Teddy has been struggling with his teeth a little bit recently. So it's not like come through yet. Come through but I can kind of see like where the mark's forming for the teeth to come through. He's dribbling a lot. He's got, mm, he did have red cheeks. He's not got them as bad today. But I think he's just been a little bit more unsettled through the night. As you know, he's been sleeping through since two months. So he, um, he's definitely been a little bit more unsettled. Jesse actually had a lay in this morning. I, I was downstairs for 10 minutes, which is quite a long time before he realized I wasn't in the bed anymore. And uh, he came straight downstairs when he realised that I'd gone. But yeah, I'm excited for today. I think it'll be lovely. I just hope everything's all right. Obviously, we've got the buggy board now, although I don't know how to fit it myself because Jimmy did it. And now I wish I would have just said to him, can you show me how to do it? So I know what I'm doing, but I'll figure it out. The attachment's already on. I just need to put the actual uh, buggy board on. Anyway, I am done. I'm ready. I'm absolutely boiling. Oh my God, do you know what? I can't wait for a bit of summer this year. Is Jesse in his house? Look at this, guys. So you know how I always say that my house is cluttered, far too many toys? Look. Yeah, well, look, look at this. It's a massive, like, tent thing for him to go in. Bless him, he's been in it. But I can't leave it up at the minute because I need to do a sort out of the conservatory first. So I need to sort everything out with this out of the way and then I can put it back up. But I was thinking, how amazing would this be in a garden for summer? Obviously, we haven't... Well, we have got a garden, but... It's Jessie's house, isn't it? So, yeah, this is from TikTok shop. I've done a video on it if you want to go and have a look. But there's um, they've got loads of others, like pop-up ones, but this one you have to put yourself together. Together yourself. It only took five minutes, so you just put these pipes through. But, yeah, we just need to do a bit of a big sort out in here because it's um, a little bit messy. Hello, my teddy robin. Good morning. Are you OK? Have you got some teeth coming through? Yeah, you're biting on those hands. I need to get you a matchstick monkey, don't I? You can bite away at it. Oh, guys, look at him. Look at him. He's four months old. And he's so big. And yeah, and we're now on eight ounce bottles, which is crazy because I'm sure your brother weren't on eight ounce at four months old. How crazy, honestly. He's now on eight ounce bottles. Yesterday, I only did this yesterday, he downed his seven ounce and was still like going for some more and I thought, oh, bless him. So next feed I made him eight ounce, totally gone and still going for more as well. Uh, I think this boy is going to love baby led weaning. In fact, on the subject of baby led weaning, look at this that I've got from this amazing small business on... Um, well, they're not, they're not just from TikTok, but I found them on TikTok shop. I think it's called Nuzzle and Nest. And they've got this. And I am so excited for weaning this time. I was excited with Jessie, but I, I really struggled with Jessie. I think, obviously, you know, I was worried. I'd never done it before. I tried with the purees. I wasn't bothered. So we went on to baby led weaning. And it was only when he was eight months old that he actually started eating properly. Like... I was just terrified. This time I feel much more relaxed and much more calm about the whole process and I kind of know what I'm doing a bit more. I think I'm just going to go straight for baby led weaning because he is all, he's already like, when he's got something in his hand, he's like moving his mouth to, to try and eat it. Like if he grabs my hand or something like that, he will always like, look, he's like trying to lift it up and look, put finger in mouth. I don't know if that, I don't know. But Jesse never did that, so I feel like he's going to really enjoy baby led weaning. Anyway, I've got this little weaning chart, which I think is amazing because uh, even though I feel more calm about it this time, I'm still a bit like, what should I make him? Because with Jesse, I didn't really like do all this, um, you know, like the stuff. What, what is it that people make quite a lot? Like the little egg muffins and stuff and all the cool stuff. Didn't really do any of that. I would like to try a little bit more this time of making nice things like that. Although I'm not going to put any pressure on myself. And I did struggle with Jesse on what to give him. So I feel like this is going to be amazing. So it's got all your vegetables, fruits, herbs and spices, proteins, dairy grains. And they've also got a vegan one and a dairy free one, I think. No, veg I can't remember. Vegan and dairy free. Or is that the same? I can't remember. Anyway, they've got other like allergen ones and vegan ones as well that you can buy. So I'm excited for this. And then obviously you can tick off when you've done it. 
and if they like it or not. So I'm really happy about that. What you got? You got a meerkat? Oh bless him. I told him we're going to the farm this morning, obviously. And he thinks we're going to see meerkats, but I don't think there's any meerkats at this farm. I'm sure there weren't any last time we went. Was there? I can't remember. But there is at Yorkshire Wildlife Park. Bless him. So he thinks we're going to see meerkats and I feel really bad. Is Jesse in his house? Where is he? Oh, where is he? Oh, he's not. He's behind his house. Hello. 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 Are we going to put your animal jumper on? Yeah. Yeah? Or is Mummy going to have to really struggle getting that Steelers top off you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can see in here how lovely and bright it is outside. So I don't even think I'm going to put a jumper on. Uh, a coat. I think I might even be too warm in this, but I'm definitely going to turn the heating off now. Um, anyway, it's 20 past nine. We need to set off in about 40 minutes. So I need to give Teddy a feed, get him changed and everything, just prep, need to get Jesse changed and stuff, pack the bag, and then we'll be going to the farm. Well, I'm doing it. I'm here. Hopefully we're going to be all right. Just waiting on Matilda getting here. Um, but I'm going to get the boys out and get them sorted anyway. This place is always busy. Always. I've never seen the car park empty, ever. Right. Wish me luck. Right, buggy board's on. I've managed to do it. Teddy's in the pram. The only thing is, I now have to wear my backpack on my back, which isn't a problem, but I just prefer not to wear it. <laughs> because I can't put it on the pram when Jesse's um, on his buggy board. But it's not an issue. I'm going to get him out now, and hopefully, uh, you know, it's not going to be naughty and run off. Not naughty, but you know, test me. <laughs> he's excited anyway, he's really excited. Matilda's five minutes away, so are we going to go to the farm? Do you want to get out? Are you going to go on your skateboard? Mummy's got your skateboard set up. Walk. You want to walk? Come on then. I mean, I have brought the reins as well, just in case. I'm not going to put him on straight away, but... It's yeah. raining. It's not raining. Huh? It's a bit windy. Here, do you want to help? No. Me and Jesse do it. He's so independent now. I'm right, just be careful because there's a car, okay? Right, do you want to go and stand on your skateboard with Teddy? No, no, you want to walk? Right, can you hold Mummy's hand then? Yeah. Oh god, I'm so on edge. I'm so on edge. I'll be alright, but I'm so on edge. Right, we've got on the skateboard, as we call it, but now he wants to walk again. Are you getting off then? Which one do you want to do? Uh, skateboard, okay. Uh, Jesse, guess who's just got here? What? Guess who's just got here? What? Heidi. She's coming with us to the farm. Look how gorgeous it is today, everybody. So beautiful, isn't it? Look at these two. I need to get you some summer clothes sorted, don't I? Because we haven't got any. Just waiting for my bestie Heidi to come. Hopefully she's coming round that corner soon. Say, Heidi, where are you? Gone. She's coming. <laughs> we're here, Jessie, aren't we? We're going to feed some animals. We've got some feed. Is it a pop -o? It is. <laughs> oh, look at these, Jesse. Do you want to feed them? Should we feed them? Oh, look. Can you feed these ones? Oh, yeah, you can, yeah. Here we go. Ready? Mummy, put some in your hand. Oh, right. There we go. Feed them. Oh, yay! Wow, well done. Do you want some more? Yeah. Go on, then, get some. Hello. What is it? Is it sheep? Oh, that's a lot, Jesse. Good boy. You want to do some more? Oh, bless it. <laughs> He's so excited. Oh, that one wants some luck. Give it to the other sheep. Is that one? Yay! Oh, look at you two. Jesse daydreaming. Jesse, have you just been on a tractor? <laughs> so unbothered. <laughs> Whoa, how cool is that? Just about you go on this one over there. There's a bigger tractor over there. Whoa, another tractor, Jesse. Go brum brum. Beep beep. Oh wow, are you turning it? Big boy. Just a little bit. I think Teddy's really tired and he's just struggling to settle to sleep, aren't you? Um, you haven't been for a nap this morning. Since you woke up this morning, he has not been for a sleep, which is very unlike him. Isn't it? Are those teeth keeping you up? Oh, 
How many have you got? Three. Three tractors. Yeah, I don't think they've got your name, Jesse. I mean, oh, we could get John. Hey, okay, let's see if there's, there is any. I don't think there will be. I wonder if there's Daddy's name as well. I don't think Daddy's name will be on here. Right, do you want to put them back then, Jesse? Yeah. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> We are home now. We've had such a lovely morning at the farm. We really enjoyed it. It's a little bit later on now. It's like nearly four o'clock. I'm just waiting for Jimmy to get home. I am at the gym tonight. It's the first time going in two weeks. So it's been a long time since I last went. But yeah, I'm back on it this week. I'm booked in Monday night, Tuesday night, Thursday night. Because Wednesday night I'm out for a meal for an Italian with my friend. And what are we having, Jesse? Are we having some dinner? So... We were originally supposed to be going for dinner yesterday to my mum's, but I had so much to do in the house, and I didn't film yesterday, that um, I said to her, we're not going, but she said that she would play as one up still. So whilst we were out at the farm, I know, baby, I'll go get you another one in a minute. Whilst we were out at the farm, my dad came and dropped off the dinner that she's plated up for us, and she did a little bowl for Jessie that I didn't realise she'd done, so I'm just gonna give him some bits off my plate. And usually I would wait to eat until after the gym, but I am absolutely starving. Like, so hungry, so I'm putting it on now. I've just got Jess's warming up. This what mine is looking like it's a little bit squished because it was underneath. But I've got this with some, this is my favourite thing in the world. It is mashed leek and bacon, and then we've also got some cauliflower cheese in here. I picked up two of these at Wentworth Farm. I've got one for now, which we both thought we shared one, and then I've got one for his little Easter hamper. But yeah, it was a super lovely morning. I've just asked Jesse actually if he wanted to have his dinner a little bit later, but he's wanting it now and he's gone and got his high chair, so. I've, uh, we're just going to eat together and there's one for Jimmy as well which I'm sure he will be absolutely over the moon with when he gets home from work and he realises there's a Sunday dinner waiting for him in the fridge, he'll absolutely love that but Teddy's just asleep, he's been a little bit quiet today actually but he has been past few days with his teeth, I think he's really been struggling so he's just like totally like gone on the sofa, he's just fast asleep and Jesse's been sleepy, he had a pretty long nap after the farm he's only kind of just woke up to be honest and he's just been chilling watching it sing because he loves it so much so he's like been quite tired as well i think we're all just shattered from last week like a haven holiday or any holiday for that matter just totally takes it out of you doesn't it and it's just really caught up with us all i think especially jimmy was obviously back at work today but yeah we've had a we've had a lovely day it makes such a difference being out of the house i can't tell you how different it makes me feel see he's having carrots broccoli mashed potato cauliflower cheese and sausage that boy loves sausage so much for some reason i don't know if anyone else's toddler is the same jesse won't eat chicken unless it's like battered like a chicken nugget he just doesn't like it i don't know why i don't know if it's something he'll just like learn to love a little bit more when he's older but yeah he just totally turns his nose up at chicken unless like ch just chicken on its own <laughs> he like likes chicken nuggets obviously but sausage he absolutely loves sausage so much he will have any type of sausage he had tomato sausage with us yesterday actually tomato sausage is my absolute favorite sausage in the world and he loved it he had some for his breakfast yesterday with me and jimmy all right just leave that to cool down a little bit because that is absolutely piping he's also got yorkshire pudding as well he's got yorkshire pudding and i'll do him a bit of gravy so i always do his first let it cool down and then by the time mine's ready his will be ready i'm desperate desperate for a food shop oh my goodness we didn't do one last week at all with going away so we left it and now we've basically just got like nothing left in the house so i'm so desperate for one 
Yeah? Is she done? You sit yeah. down. Yeah, mummy, it's nearly coming, okay? It's nearly ready. Yeah? You excited? It's nearly done, mister. Right. His is nearly done. So yeah, really need to do a full shop. I'm terrible, I'm eating if Yorkshire pudding. I've just started writing out a little shopping list. It's one of those shops where I kind of need like everything, you know, like tomato sauce we've run out of. And I also need a stock up of the freezer as well because we've barely got any any freezer stuff left. But So a full shop is definitely needed. Might go tonight after the gym, but I'll see, I'll see how I feel. If not, it'll have to be tomorrow. Mind you, I'm at gym tomorrow as well. Right guys, I am ready to go to the gym. I'm running a bit late, which is why I've not been able to film much. Um, but I'm so ready for it. I've just walked to my car and I've just thought I'm so flipping excited to blast my Taylor Swift tunes out on full blast with no one in car. I've currently got Sleepy Womb on. That's the new white noise I've been playing for, for Teddy. And do you know what? It's amazing. It is so good. The white noise I've been, I used for Jesse and for first few months of Teddy, uh, I, I've used for ages. But I recently found this one called Sleepy Womb and it sends me in a deep sleep. It makes me so relaxed. It's unreal. Just type in sleepy womb. I think it's, it's this one here. It looks like that. And it's actually so good. It's just really, really relaxing. Anyway, none of that for me because I need to be awake and alive for the gym. So let's go. First time in two weeks, guys, that I've um, that I've been because I went two weeks ago tonight. Then on the Tuesday, I ended up not going because I had too much to do. Can't remember what for, but I didn't end up going. And then on the Wednesday, it was when Teddy had had his jabs. And I drove there and had to drive stri straight back because he was crying and screaming real upset. But anyway, let's go. Oh, need to get my head in the zone. All I can think about is eating dominoes. I actually had one last night as well. Uh, but anyway, let's go to the gym. Right. right, Jimmy has had it. He has absolutely had it with me. I have had it. I've had He's the literally biscuit. had the... <laughs> Gingerbread man, I bought for the Easter hamper. Listen, you didn't stress enough that G you wanted to keep it. I told you twice, Jimmy. You shouldn't leave you it. You said to me, sight. oh, there's a it's gingerbread one here. I said, yeah, I said, I bought two. He had one earlier, we shared it. And I bought another one for the Easter hamper. Then you mentioned it again. I don't even think about going to buy Easter treats I've bought from Tesco and all. Did you get keep three for three? It's not three for that anymore. They're 75p each. They've took the offer off. So you just got one? No, I've got three lots. Paid full price for each. I've come home to this what? from the gym. My bunny that I bought for Jess's Easter hamper, I should have put it in the Easter box. It's come home and friggin' at it. It's the end of the world. Right, anyway, guys, can I just say, I've just been to <laughs> Don't open it, it'll do that thing off Harry Potter, it goes. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry if there's any headphone users. Um, Jimmy just deafening everybody. <laughs> Guys, I went to Tesco for milk and nappies and look what I've come home with. Right. Yeah, you did see that right. An egg. I've got an egg. Um, I don't know why. I, I am... didn't specify cola laces. Well, that's what you get you for eating me Easter Bunny. Bubblegum. You can go back to my Muff Garden Centre and buy me another one. Not for £3.50. I've just seen price on Bakery. That's ridiculous. Anyway, I got an egg. I don't know why. It just, I thought I could incorporate it. What's in it? Nothing. You put like Easter treats in it for Jesse and stuff. Cause I'm doing him, doing him an egg on Tanta. So, <laughs> Jimmy, just leave me alone. Wait, there's nothing in it? No, What's it, it, it was. It's to put Easter egg, eggs in and stuff and then treats. When he does his egg on Tanta, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, you found the golden egg. Wait, <laughs> I want to do you a haul of stuff I've bought. We are Jimmy in way. He's a ginger red man. <laughs> Making mermaid noises. Just so you know, I'm doing Jesse an Easter egg hunt. We thought we might be going away next week for Easter Sunday and I was so looking forward to it. Like thinking, oh, we're going to wake up in caravan on Easter morning and they're going to open them. Anyway, we're not going now, so I'm really upset. So I've said to Jimmy, let's book Thought Park again. But he said no. What? He said no. For Easter Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, because you've booked it already. Yeah, for, for June. Months time. Not for Easter Sunday. Yeah, come on. I really want to wake up in a caravan on Easter Bloody morning. Hell. I've uh, become, I mean, I've always loved Haven, but recently I've become quite obsessed with Haven and I've decided we're doing every single park, aren't we? Yeah. Anyway, this is my egg I've bought for two quid. I thought I could incorporate it in the, what? That were two quid. Yeah, but it's going to last us forever. <laughs> oh my God. You know what I mean? I'm, it's always going to be part of the egg hunts and stuff. So look, Jimmy, I'll show you my idea. 
Look, it just makes it that little bit more exciting, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, Jesse, you found the egg, what's inside? Oh, okay. Open it up, there's the, an egg! The main prize. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, open it up. Uh, you found the egg, open it up, what's inside? Oh, an egg! An egg and an egg in an egg. Don't show him, don't show him because he'll want it because he loves it. Here, eggs. Jesse. Mm. Oh my god, stress. Let me show you what I actually bought. Do you make, go and eat your sweets in room. <laughs> He's had it with me, I was eating that gingerbread. Anyway, first up, how gorgeous are these bags from Tesco? Oh my goodness. Super beautiful. So, let me get me Easter bits out that I bought for the egg hunt and stuff. First up, I bought this gorgeous card for the boys. It just says, Happy Easter to you. Thought that were real cute. Oh, look what I got, Jimmy. For Teddy, a mini oh. matchstick monkey. He's mini. obviously, yeah, it's a mini one because I thought with how he is Smash at the minute. It. Well, that it's the mini one. It's not the same as the one that Jesse had. So anyway, I bought him a matchstick monkey. And then I've got these for the egg hunt. How cute are they? I've also got him a dairy milk. And I picked this up as well, which I think is so lovely. He's actually had one of these before. It's a pizza rabbit cup. And then at the bottom, it opens up for snacks. How mushroom. cool is that? I don't like them. Um, so I've got him that. I've got you your dialogue that you asked for. There you go. Uh, I also got a lint bunny because it's not Easter, we are a limp bunny. I then also got two bags of eggs. This Easter egg hunt is going to be amazing. <laughs> and I also got him his first ever Kinder Egg. I got some wipes, needed some, and I also got some bin bags, how exciting, because I needed some. And then, are these new? Because I have not seen these before. What? What? <laughs> You're doing my Eddie. Get away. Boing, 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 boing. Do I have two or three kids? Four. I've actually said to some... Dun, dun, dun. No, I'm kidding. What the hell have you had? Have you had one of those prime energy drinks? Because this is what you go like on them. Anyway, are these new? Because I have never seen these ones before. You know I love my Freshmatic. Um, but I saw these ones tonight. So, they look amazing. I have never seen them. So I'm sure they're new. Look at these. Look at that! I've not even smelt it, but I've got it in eucalyptus and freesia. Sounds amazing. So I can't wait to try that. I've got batteries that I need to put in. I also got this. This is my favourite scent from the Airwick. Crisp linen and lilac. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I've got that. And then I've got this. Honestly, did the only thing... Sorry, did you get any chocolate for now? Uh, not really, no. I mean, do you want some of them? No, I want that Kinder Egg one and all. You can't have it! Why? Because it's for Jesse please, Easter, no! Please, please, Alright, that's enough for one day. Right, fair enough. Do you know what? Have it. But give, it's actually supposed to be Jesse, so you're supposed to give him the no, present inside. No, you know inside. what? It's fine. Thanks. Right, the only thing that has genuinely not set off Jesse's eczema is that oilatum. The kids are elating, but I saw this tonight, and this is actually what I use. Well, not this exact one, but I use Sanex for myself because I've got sensitive skin, and I didn't realise they did a kids version. So this is zero kids uh, head to toe wash. So Teddy so far has absolutely no signs of eczema whatsoever, which I'm really surprised at because I thought that he would have eczema like me and Jesse, but. So far, no signs whatsoever, no dry skin, anything. Jesse's still suffering, especially on his legs at the minute. Last few bits, I've got this, because I think Jesse's gonna love it. It's one of those things where it pings out and you've got to catch it with the other basket, just like a Easter one. And then all in there, I've just got some more bin bags, some milk, some nappies, and my favorite yogurts at the minute, which are the protein, um, Lindol's, those ones. So yeah, that's everything I've got from Tesco. I went for nappies and wipe and I came out with all of this. I actually really like this egg. I got the last one, so it must be very popular. Um, I've actually got another egg on the way as well, two eggs. But do you know what? All this stuff, it will come in because I'm just gonna keep it and reuse it. I've actually got one more thing that I need to show you. This, hoppy Easter bunting. And that's everything. See, I'm gonna put it all the way in my little Easter box. And then I need to buy another bag, like a big box to print attic of all the Easter stuff.